Hola, muy buenos días alumnos. El día de hoy vamos a empezar con su página número 21. En este caso vamos a empezar con el Diagnostic Test, el examen diagnóstico. ¿no? Por favor, abran su libro a la página 21. Dice, this is a diagnostic test. It will show the English you already know. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how you find out where you need more practice. Have students take the test working independently for about 15 minutes. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and turn to page number 21 and open your diagnostic test. In this case, I think I have it right here. Okay, I will share my page with you. Give me one second. There we go. So this is the diagnostic test on page 21. So right here, page 21, right? Okay. So we're going to start on the top part. You're going to start with this part. It says diagnostic test. Number one, circle the correct word. Madison and Ash cook or cooks breakfast. Which one is correct? I would think for this one, it is cook. Cook will be the correct answer. Okay. On part number two, it says complete the sentences with always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, or never in the verb in the chart. So number one says John, a book. So it must mean John reads a book mm, rarely. He rarely reads a book, rarely. John rarely reads a book. John rara vez lee un libro, ¿no? Recuerden que always es siempre, usually, usualmente, often, seguido, sometimes, algunas veces, y rarely, casi nunca, y never es nunca. Entonces, para esta, la 2, 3, 4, 5 y 6, a completar viendo la tabla esta que está aquí, qué tan seguido hace las acciones. En el número 3 dice, match the questions and answers. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? I play video, I play computer games. I play computer games. What do you do in your free time? I play computer games. So right here, we're going to put letter G, right? Letter G. All right. So you do the same for number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and number seven, and that will conclude your diagnostic test. If you have any questions about that diagnostic test, please go ahead and put them on the comments. Okay, guys, we will continue to our next page. In this case, we're going to turn to page number 22. We're going to go on to page number 22. So let's go ahead and turn the page. In my case, here we are. So this says lesson number one. What do you do? This is on page number 22, right? 22. Good. So it says on the first part, read what is the conversation about? Homework, sports, or work? So you're going to have to read the conversation about what is Roger and Denise talking about? Roger and Denise. Once you figure out what the conversation is about, you can go ahead and write it in this space. Answer the, uh, the next questions with true or false in part B of page 22. Answer, Denise has practice on Wednesdays. 
Is this true or is this false? Go ahead and write it right here in the space. The same for number two, for number three, and for number four. Go ahead and write them on each one of the spaces. For page 22 on the bottom part, on the second part it says number two, vocabulary, occupations, says number the pictures using the crossword puzzle. So you're gonna look at this crossword puzzle and you're gonna figure out with the number, which one is which. So this is number two. Number two is a receptionist, correct? A receptionist, so that's number two. Number one says a server. What is a server? A server will be right here. Number one is a server, right? Number six says a bus driver. Number six is a bus driver, so which one of these is driving a bus? A bus driver, okay? Once you figure that out, you're going to go ahead and turn to page number 23. And in page number 23, you're going to fill out what it says, the simple present, the simple present. I'm sorry for that, guys, but I don't have a picture of page 23. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you know what it says. In part of page 23, a, it says, rewrite the sentences in your notebook using the third person singular. So number one says, I play soccer. All right? I play soccer. Give me one second. I'm going to go back. All right. So for page number 23, it says, I play soccer. I play soccer. So now it says that you have to turn this into a third person singular. That means that you have to put either he or she, right? So in this case, it will be he plays soccer. So the answer for number one is he plays soccer. For number two, it says, I go to school. I go to school. So you're gonna have to change that. And you're gonna have to write, he goes to school. The correct answer would be he goes to school. For number three, it says they teach. They teach. You have to change it and you have to write he teaches. He teaches is the correct answer. For number four, it says you study. You study. What you have to do is write he studies. He studies. For number five, it says, we drive, we drive. So you have to change it to he or she drives. He drives, she drives, correct? And number six, I have a sister. You have to change it to he has a sister. The correct answer is he has a sister, okay? For part B, it says complete the sentences in the positive and the negative form. So you have to put there like, Nick is a bus driver. He drives a bus. He doesn't drive a taxi. So you see the positive, right? And the negative. I am a nurse. I help sick people. I don't teach. So she is a nurse. She helps people. She doesn't teach like a teacher, right? So you have to make sure that you have to fill out each one of those blanks and finish one, two, three, four, and five, please. On page 23, part number four, pronunciation, it says that you have to complete the chart and listen and repeat. So for number, uh, for the first pair that says S sounds, S sounds, you have to go ahead and write helps and works. The correct answer will be help, helps, and works. For the middle square, where it has a C sound, like a Z, right, like Zorro, you have to go ahead and write goes, right, and answers. Goes and answers will be the correct answer. And for the I-Z sound, 
that would be washes or teaches. The correct would be washes or teaches, correct? Right? 